I'm Tony Nami from Kyoto in Japan. I'll introduce co-author Dr. Nakano, Professor Tabuchi, Professor Miyazawa, and Dr. Shigemi Goto is the chair and professor of orthodontic division in Aichigakuin University. I would like to describe my case report patient. She was 42 years, 5 months female. Her main complaint was lip protrusion and opted for an invisible appliance for aesthetic reasons. Oral photos show protruded upper anterior and crowding in the lower arch. End on class 2 molar radiation over jet was 7 mm and the lower discrepancy was 4 mm. Lateral cephalogram described skeletal maxillary protrusion and mandibular retrusion. What are your treatment alternatives? Problem lists are there. The use of traditional orthodontic mechanics with headgear support was considered but ruled out by this patient. When we use conventional lingual brackets and edgewise arch wires, it is difficult to establish adequate torque in the anterior teeth. However, with a free customized lingual bracket with vertical slots and ribbon-wise arch wires, it becomes much easier. Treatment plan summary. Three points were torque control, vertical control, and anchorage control. When we use with a free customized lingual bracket with vertical slots and ribbon-wise arch wire, we had to avoid horizontal bowing effect. We usually used the lever arm retraction from TAD and transporter bar for torque, vertical, and anchorage controls. How would you manage this patient needs? Final facial photos. Aesthetic facial profile was obtained. Intraoral photos. Class 1 molar radiation was established. A and B change from 9 to 6 degree and the FMIA from 45.5 to 59 degrees. Superimposition. We can realize achievement of vertical torque and anchorage controls. Thank you for your kind attention and please look at this article in AJODO October 2016. Animation of this treatment process. Thank you.